Hey guys, going this Trey XD and your part 7 of Skin Mars Melody Memory Let's Play. And what a fitting way to end this 7 parts, you know, this whole 7 Guardian Delight and stuff like that, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, all we have left is the last world, or I guess you can call this the world, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> but we finished all the other worlds, we watched, I believe, every single cutscene in this game, I think, besides the last couple of them. Uh, so let me double check really quick. And make sure that we did. <laughs> I don't want you guys to miss any of the content in this game, like all the cutscenes, whatever. So, yeah, um, to make sure that I did everything. <laughs> so yeah, we have all these cutscenes. Uh, everything else is like the last part. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, we're ready to do this. Hopefully, you guys uh, are ready as well. I didn't know this changed. I didn't change my team, so <laughs> I didn't know that changed randomly. But yeah, in today's episode, we'll be learning. What happens after Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind? This game has not covered Remind yet, but it will cover it in this world, so... Yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. I won't be talking during any of the cutscenes. At least I try not to anyway. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let's do this. I'm pretty sure this video could take at least, like, 20 minutes. Like, I know there's, like, at least 15 minutes of cutscenes, so... Yeah, it's, 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 gonna, be, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> uh, once you enter this world, you'll not be able to save until you clear it. Yeah, let's go. Alright, I'm excited. I'm not sure it'll start off with a cutscene or not. Well, oh, it does, okay. <laughs> this place. This final world uh, logo is really cool. <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, of all the Kingdom Hearts World logo thingies. Even though it's, it's kind of bland, <laughs> like the the font is really bland. <laughs> Except for the W, I think it's pretty cool. And look at that final. <laughs> Alright, so we're actually playing. Okay. <laughs> okay, look at this. The Kingdom Hearts three Kyrie Kingdom Hearts two. Kingdom Shader Render, whatever. <laughs> but it, she did her Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit, so I think it's pretty cool. This was one of the renders that, I guess, it, it not really leaked. I don't think it, it got leaked. I think it's got revealed or released or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. I like it a lot. Like, I really miss the Kingdom of Shader. But I really like the Unreal Engine 4 as well. Like, the new Kingdom Hearts graphics or model or whatever looks really good. <laughs> but there's something about this Kingdom of Shader that... It's just so nostalgic. <laughs> and this is also what I meant when, when I uh, said that uh, <laughs> I got a perfect in this. Like, I got a perfect in one of these songs in the final world and it didn't count because there's no <laughs> combo thing and there's like no end screen to saying that you got a full chain so <laughs> it didn't count unfortunately. So it kind of stinks. But yeah, hopefully you guys are excited. If you guys haven't played this game and you guys are watching my Let's Play, hopefully you guys are excited to what's to come. Fortunately, I've already seen all the cutscenes because I didn't want to be spoiled, so I kind of played this game off camera. And I have to say, it's pretty good for a rhythm game <laughs> and not like a main title game. Like, they added some good stuff in this, so yeah. <laughs> it wasn't all that bad. Alright, cutscene time, I believe. This world will be engulfed in darkness. 
everything you care about and everyone you love. If you truly possess the power of a princess of heart, your heart will resonate with the Keyblade wielders, and I believe you can lead me to that wielder's world. That is the only possible way to save ours. You see, this is more than an experiment. It's hope. Like most, you probably believe that nothing exists outside of this world you live in. And yet, there are countless other worlds. You can see them sparkle brilliantly in the night sky. Through that sea of stars, fate will guide your ship to where you are meant to be. However, if you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. If that happens, you must abandon your search. We have failed. Alright, <laughs> so a lot of good stuff happened there. <laughs> it kind of sticks that what Taranoid said, definitely remember that, because that's really important. <laughs> Especially like his last words, that is the most important thing of all. I'm not gonna lie, I can't believe I got what he said. Stupid! <laughs> oh, I, I said that you guys should remember it, but I completely forgot. <laughs> I kind of, uh, you know, blanked out during that cutscene. <laughs> oh man, but, man. It's so good. <laughs> Things like this makes me love Kingdom Hearts. Like all this mystery and ambiguous thingy thingamajiggies. <laughs> it just makes it so much fun. Creating your own theories or whatever, even though it's completely wrong or maybe sometimes you might be right. Like, that's the whole fun of it. Uh, even though everybody knows that uh, the Kingdom Hearts game story is complete nonsense. <laughs> like, none of it <laughs> even makes sense. But, you know, it's, it's still fun. To get the last heart, you have to wait all the way until the end but this is a song i perfected on my off time but it didn't count so technically speaking i did get a full chain but i didn't at the same time <laughs> oh man but Kyrie's theme is really good i'm not sure if this is like a new rendition of it probably not it's probably the same thing <laughs> uh you guys ready here it comes actually this is not even the exciting part too You guys ready for the reveal? Who Can you guys you? guess who this is? Show your face. Psych. <laughs> it's not not the masters, masters. It's Master Zaynort. Not so fast, my dear. You're the one who keeps messing with my fate. If it weren't for everything that you've done, then Sora and everyone would be safe. Even if you're not really here, and this is just a memory or illusion, I won't let you walk away. You're right, I set you adrift in another world and drastically altered the course of your fate. In the end, you were destroyed by my hand, paving the way for Sora's disappearance. <sighs> Look at that, Harry's fight scenes are really good, like, oh my goodness, she improved so much. <laughs> 
you've become quite the keyblade wielder. For a retired master, yes, it prepared you remarkably well. This world was created from the memories contained within your heart. You seek clues to Soros' whereabouts by using your memories of him to search through your own heart. But there's nothing for you to find here. I'm afraid the answer you seek lies in memories that are long gone. <laughs> I have had enough of this! Joined us. As I thought, your voice can't reach us here. Now I'm certain of where your heart is. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, uh, even when you think Xehanor is gone, he's still here. Not only that, but Sora's here. <laughs> oh my goodness. But uh, we're gonna do it. Uh, should I do it on proud? Yeah, why not? Let's do it on proud. Let's see what happens. You stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna get completely destroyed, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> I hope we hold on, I'll die. But. Look at this, Sora's Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit in uh, Kingdom Shader. Oh shoot, what the heck? That's tough. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, well, how did I miss that? Alright, so I might, I might actually die. <laughs> it might take me a couple of tries. Oh my goodness, I'm messing up a lot. Oh my god, stop! Nope. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is gonna take a little bit. I kinda wanna do this in Proud. So yeah, I'm gonna keep trying until I can beat it. If I struggle really bad, then I'm, uh, I'm probably gonna put it back on standard. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like a scrub at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's two wrecks, oh my goodness. It, it's hard, oh my god. It's harder than any of the other boss fights. <laughs> oh my goodness, it'll take a while. Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm getting better though, at least I made it this far, but I'm completely dead now, like, there's no way. <laughs> oh my god, so I think I gotta go through at least two of those dark zones, so... Yeah, but at least I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> it did take a little bit, but I'm, I can do this, I believe. Alright, <laughs> at least I'm consistently making it back here. But oh my goodness, I'm, I'm still dead. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much HP, it's insane. I wonder how many times I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh man, but it is only the first part too, it's insane. Alright, here's the better run, but <laughs> I'm, I'm still almost positive I'm gonna either die here or I'm gonna have very low HP. Hey, Okay, so we did pretty well at that time. Alright, well, <laughs> we died here, but okay, at least I'm getting better, so. Alright, we made it this far. Next run, we should make it even farther. <laughs> but it looks like there's three phases then. Like three dark zones, so that's not too bad. We can do this, I believe. Montage. Alright, this is the furthest we made so far. <laughs> Dang, we're so close. Oh my goodness. But we're almost there. I feel it. <laughs> maybe at least maybe five more tries. As if. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not sure how many times I died yet, but I'll probably calculate it once I uh, edit the video. But you probably died at least ten times. <laughs> It 
it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. There we go, oh my god. <laughs> so we finally beat, or at least I finally beat the stage, oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know how long that took. Oh man. On the day that I sent you out from your world. Do you remember what it is I said to you? Those words hold the answer you seek. I may cause you to suffer, but I am a product of your heart. For that reason, I shall give you your answer. When my heart and body were still united as one, I told you about what would happen if we were to fail. 
If you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. That is the answer I have for you. What does that mean? If you arrive in a world that's neither of light nor darkness, but somewhere on the other side, your task will be far from easy. Yes, he said that's the answer. Not of light or darkness, but on the other side? I've never heard of a place like that. Something else he said perplexes me. Your voice can't reach us. I'm certain of where your heart is. Mm. You would assume that he's referring to the realm of darkness, but... That clearly isn't the case here, wouldn't you say? Where voices can't reach. The other side of our world. Of reality. Unreality. A fictional world. Fictional? Hmm. I'm afraid such mysteries are beyond our comprehension. Maybe Mickey or Master Yen Sid knows. Any news? Huh. Riku! Oh, they finally Kyrie. talk. <laughs> you woke up. Yeah, just now. How come you're here? Well, actually, I found some info about Sora. Really? We got something too. You did? Whoa. Ah. Whoa. 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 Oh, excuse me, dears. I certainly didn't mean to startle you. If you're not expecting magic, it can be a surprise. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> now then, I am the fairy godmother, and it's a pleasure to meet you all. <sighs> She came here at Yen Sid's request. He said she's got a clue that might help us find Sora. Yen Sid sent you? That's right. To find Sora, we need three keys. First, Riku. And then, of course, there's you, dear Kairi. Okay. With Riku's dreams and Kairi's memories, you two have already done your part. Kairi's memories? Yes. We performed an examination of Kyrie's heart and obtained an important clue from the lost memories it contains, which is that there's another world on the other side of ours that's not of darkness or light. Riku, what did you dream? Oh, well, since Sora disappeared, I've been having dreams about a large city with tall buildings. Apparently, that's the clue. A city? Maybe that's what Xehanort was talking about. A fictional world. A fictional world? Yes, perhaps. The three realms of our world. Light, darkness, and between. These are all places we can travel to. Because they are on our side. This also includes the worlds of memories, data, and dreams. If I am correct, then this other side of our world, from which voices cannot reach, must be a place outside of our reality. Namely, it must be unreality, or fiction. But that is the extent of our knowledge. So I thought, we should go to Mickey and Master Yen Sid to ask about it. Mm, I'm not quite sure they'll be able to help you, my dear. Then, what now? Oh, you forget. There are three people who hold the key. There's still one more. One with a strong will and a very precious dream. Who is it? You'll see. I'll introduce you. Huh? Whoa. 
This place. You know it? Yeah. I came here with Sora, and also in my dreams while I slept. This is the final world. But there's no one here. That's not true. Why don't you look closer? Hmm. Huh? <gasps> I'm not gonna lie, when I first came to Final World, I didn't even notice any of these stars. <laughs> oh my goodness, I missed out on so many cutscenes and dialogue because of that. But, <laughs> yeah, well, that's because I'm an the idiot, stars. so. Yeah. I never noticed. Yes. Strong hearts gather here after death. Until they are ready to move on. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. She? The final key. Huh? you we've been searching all over for you my dear do I know you I'm Kyrie it's a pleasure to meet you you're all able to retain your appearance in this world I met someone else who could do that uh, so she's the final key that's right dear now we finally have all three. But how exactly can she help? It's simple. She came from the world on the other side. What? Huh? You see, she's very special. Her form was taken from her, but she managed to find her way here. If she goes back to her world, her heart will certainly be stolen. Right, dear? Oh, yes. It seems you know a lot about me. <laughs> a little. And I would use my magic to change you back if I could. But I'm afraid that's impossible while you're in this form. Don't fret, though. I believe that we'll find a way to make your dream come true very soon. My dream? Come true? I want to help make that happen. Will it lead us to Sora? Oh, I'm afraid it's not that simple. First, we must get to her world. She can open a path for us, and you can use the power of waking to go there. The power of waking? Sorry, but did I hear you say Sora? Huh? Wait, do you know him? Yes. He was here. He encouraged me not to give up. Did something happen to him? Yeah. Sora disappeared. He's a good friend of ours. So we've been looking for him. Mm. Right now, we think he's in a big city full of tall buildings. Ring any bells? A city full of tall buildings? Quadratum? Huh? Remember that name. <laughs> it has more That's skyscrapers important. than any other city I know. That must be it. Quadratum. Is that where Sora is? There's no way of knowing. But I believe it is possible. Alright. Think you can help us? I'm not sure exactly what's happening. But if Sora is in trouble, I want to help. Please let me know what you need from me. Thanks. I'm afraid this is as much as I can do. It's up to you, Riku, to take care of the rest. Hmm. I want to go. Kairi, that's not... 
<sighs> yeah, I know. I want to go with you. But... I know that I can't. I need to finish training. I need to become stronger. And when I do, I'll be right there next to you and Sora. Good. But first, I'll go explain everything. To Donald and Goofy, and to Mickey and Master Yen Sid. <laughs> be careful out there, dear. And try not to do anything too reckless. Come straight back if you encounter any trouble. I will. All right, so that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm still thinking about how long it took me to beat Master Z. You know, I'm proud. The recording is about an hour and forty minutes. <laughs> it took me maybe a good hour. I'm not sure how many times I died. I think I died like at least fifty times. <laughs> oh, like my voice is like dead. It's not because I was talking the entire time, it's because I got to the point where I feel like I'm so relaxed. <laughs> like, I'm not in recording mode anymore that, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't even have the energy anymore to commentate. But, uh, yeah, um, a lot of happened. Them finding out that Sora is in a fictional world, and that world is called Quadratum. If you guys don't know, Quadratum is, I guess, another word for square. <laughs> People are like, freaking out, like, oh my god, this world is square like square enix <laughs> and uh so yozora looks like a final fantasy character and, and everybody from yozora's world looks like a final fantasy character so <laughs> people are thinking that you know maybe one day they might do a whole final fantasy world or something we quadrat will have final fantasy characters in there you know like no one like we've seen before like lightning or something who knows <laughs> i'm calling it right here <laughs> in this video mark this down december what is it 15th 2020. Like the next fictional world, if they ever uh, do more worlds besides Quadratum, the next world city, whatever it'll be called, Annexium. <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> I'm calling right here. But it'd be funny if um, another world called Squaresoft. That'd be kind of funny. But yeah, so Riku's basically going to go find Sora. Kairi's gonna train. Unfortunately, we all got cucked that uh, you know Kairi is still training and she doesn't need to you know join Riku in the journey to find Sora. But I'm assuming what's gonna happen is that in Kingdom Hearts 4 or something, Kyrie's gonna, you know, do the same thing as Sora. Like, Sora and Riku will be having you know, trouble fighting, I don't know, Master Master or you know, Sora. And then Kyrie pop out of nowhere, like, how Sora did when um, Riku was saving Aqua. She just pop down and then, you know, protect Sora or Riku, whoever. <laughs> that, that's what I'm assuming. But yeah, there is a cutscene after this. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. <laughs> I'm kind of using this time just to talk about the game. I regret doing that uh, <laughs> Xehanort fight and Proud because oh my god, <laughs> the editing this video is gonna be well, it's not gonna be that bad. This is uh, it's very long, but a lot of it I'm just gonna cut out. But yeah, let me know if you guys had trouble beating uh, Master Xehanort's fight on Proud in this game. <laughs> Oh, like, I, I can't really had so much trouble. Like, I honestly thought it would take like another half an hour or something. But yeah, that's kind of about it for the cutscene. There is one more cutscene after this. But after that, it's kind of about it. This game doesn't really bring too much new lore, but what it brings is very interesting. Also, another thing that's funny is that <laughs> Master Xehanort, or I guess not really Master Xehanort, but like Terranort, when uh, he was sending Kairi to, you know, Destiny Islands, that whole spiel he had telling Kairi, you know, if you arrive in a world with like that neither light or darkness or whatever. <laughs> he said all that stuff when she was sleeping. If I'm sleeping, I'm not gonna know what he actually said. Not only that, but she's a kid, so he doesn't even understand anything that's happening, so... <laughs> he, he's speaking all these, like, like all this mumbo-jumbo and using these big words and 
If I was Kyrie, I would not understand what the heck he's saying. <laughs> Even now, I don't understand what the heck he's saying. <laughs> it's funny that they expect, you know, Kyrie, who was a literal kid, they expect him to know what the heck he's saying. I like this credit though, it's really cool. I love it when Kingdom Hearts does something like this where you can play around during the credits. I think more games should do this, because this is a lot of fun. <laughs> it, it keeps you your attention on the credits. Even though it's not necessary, like you don't gain anything from doing this, it's still fun. I, I think in Dream Not Distant, you have to, or okay, you don't have to. I think if you play through the credits, you actually unlock something, you know, like some kind of sentence or whatever. I mean, it, nothing too crazy, but you know, it's, it's extra stuff that, you know, pretty cool. But yeah, that's kind of about it for this Let's Play though. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, I know that when I was doing Let's Play, I was kind of all over the place when I was editing the video because I didn't really know how I wanted to edit this Let's Play. But I feel like I figured it out, but it, it's really too late now because... Um, this let's play already over. Like, this game not really that long, so... Yeah, after this, we'll be continuing our Kingdom Hearts 2 let's play. So yeah, I'm really excited to continue that and finish it. But, there's no let's play down. <laughs> this is great. Uh, let me know what you guys thought, though. Like, do you guys enjoy let's play? Uh, what do you guys thought about the cutscene as well? Also, another thing is that Kyrie's missing from this screen. <laughs> like, this is literally Kyrie's game, but Sora is here. I feel like they should replace Sora with Kyrie. <laughs> it makes no sense. But it doesn't really matter. Alright, but we are ready for the uh, the final cutscene. Whenever it comes. <laughs> oh man. Any day now. Any day. Riku went alone? But that's way too dangerous! I have to go after him now! Do not be hasty, Mickey. But Master Yen said, he's all alone in a world we know nothing about. Precisely. We have never faced something like this before. Which is why we must remain calm. But... Kairi, this information you bring us, it comes from Xehanort during his time as a researcher? Yes. Then that means he must have been aware of this other world for quite some time. But we defeated Xehanort. Is there anybody else we can ask? Hmm. When I was still serving as a Keyblade Master, it was known that the Ancient Masters had crossed over into another world. I surmised that Xehanort looked more deeply into that world. The Ancient Keyblade Masters? For now, we must reach out to those in Radiant Garden. The Land of Departure and Twilight Town who are searching for Sora to inform them of what we have learned and have them halt their respective efforts. Donald, Goofy, I leave this to you. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! And Kyrie, will you continue your training as you were before? Actually, I'd like to study under Master Aqua. That is an excellent idea. I approve. Thank you. And you, Mickey. Yes! I task you with the investigation of this new world, and how it is related to the ancient Keyblade Masters. But how? You'll begin in the world of Scala Ad Kailum. It's too bad to say reconnecting them hearts. <laughs> oh man, that old phrase. But uh, yeah, it's finally over. Oh my goodness. It's it's great to finally finish the Let's Play. It's one of my goals to Let's Play all the Kingdom Hearts games, so there's another one down. Oh, they keep adding more games. <laughs> oh, it'll be forever until I uh, let's play all of them. But uh, there we go, we got a whole bunch of trophies. 
so that's cool. Yeah, it says right there. Difficulty for Smash Day, you know, proud. Oh, I'm so proud of it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was a horrible joke, but uh, yeah, we used Team Days 36 times. Uh, most played song and difficulty standard. And we defeated 10,000. Uh, songs unlocked 93. Uh, World Tour missions 182 out of 354. <laughs> uh, we got all the cutscenes and it took us 7 hours to beat this game, so. It's not too bad, but basically it's about the same as my uh, original playthrough. Actually, I think it took me longer. I'm not sure if me struggling on Master of the Aenor counted <laughs> as uh, the, the playtime. If it did, then we could have cut basically an hour off of that playtime. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's kind of about it. The new cutscenes, basically, they're saying how the foretellers, after the keep of the board, they kind of crossed over to um, another world. I think they're probably going to um, Quadratum. And that's why you see the Master of the Masters in Quadratum. He's kind of, you know, chilling there, watching everything unfold. He's probably with the foretellers, and then after Kingdom Hearts 3, Lushu brought them back. I guess, I don't know. That's what I think when they said the ancient people. I, I, I don't know what he yeah, it said. I'm like tripping right now. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I'm going to end this video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. This Let's Play is a lot of fun. Um, this game was definitely refreshing, so it was great to play this game. But now we're going to go back to Kingdom Hearts 2. After we finish Kingdom Hearts 2, we'll, we'll see what we're going to do. But uh, just let me know what you guys think about, you know, the entire game, like gameplay wise, cutscene wise, the lore added, as well as what you guys thought about this Let's Play. Do you guys like the editing and stuff like that? I don't know. <laughs> just let me know. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. I enjoyed it a lot. So but yeah, anyway, that's kind of about it. Hopefully you enjoyed. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.